so I had a lot of fun. Um, just a few minutes ago, I was doing a, a video that kind of rebooted um, what I used to do when I was a kid and uh, uh, did some journal entries. Um, it was easy enough to do that. I kind of want to do something that's a little bit more more public that I can share, which is kind of fun. Um, uh, last several years, I've been um, gathering a bunch of pictures. So I don't I don't know if Google even keeps count anymore, but I like I like seriously have like forty three thousand pictures um, uh, from back like forever ago. So in uh, 1997, 98, it must have been ninety eight. So I graduated in ninety eight. Um, I I caught on to the tradition that people got graduation presents and my my mom said well what do you want for graduation and I said I want a digital camera and she says okay well, that's cool how much is it and I said well it's seven hundred dollars and she kind of choked on it she's like Oop. you know so and she says well I'll tell you what if you can pay half we'll 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 pay half and we'll get you a digital camera and it was pretty cool so. I was the first person in my neighborhood by far to have a digital camera in it. It was a Mavica, um, like 049 or something like that. And you put three and a half floppies in it and you take a picture. It goes, eh, 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 eh. and then I would finally put your picture in there. And that was kind of cool. And so I actually took it up a hike to Table Rock. And, uh, um, you know, I had taken pictures before that and stuff like that. But, but digital pictures, I mean, that computers is kind of my thing. And, um, it was it was kind of fun. So anyway, I did have these digital pictures um, of Table Rock. So everybody else was bringing their packs and stuff like that. And uh, I brought, and I don't even know if it's up here. I don't think I, I actually don't think I uploaded it um, yet. So I, I do have them. They're on a different computer. Um, I didn't bring my personal computer with me to work today. I'm in Boise, and uh, uh, I should have gone to bed and had like this epiphany that I just couldn't let go and I had so much fun that here I am still awake doing this probably bugging my neighbors because I'm talking and they'll probably come pound on the door like what are you doing anyway um so like I said uh for the last little while I've been doing pictures and then you know I don't know if you can see but uh like over the course of time the volume of pictures become more and 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 the pictures become like higher resolution and then um, by the way, these are all the pictures that like I, I on like a quarterly basis or once every couple months, I like unload my camera and I unload the iPad and I unload all the phones and I go through them one by one. And I'm like, yeah, I want that one. No, I don't want that one. Yeah, I want that one. No, I don't want that one. I have to be pretty fast these days because it's like, it's like 1200 pictures it might take upwards of, you know, an hour or something to pick them out and then upload them and stuff like that. Um, but uh, so I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I really want these pictures to be worthwhile. Let's put a story behind them. Let's put them in a book. And so I've been doing that. So um, I'm just trying this off the cuff because it was kind of so fun. So, so sorry if this is boring. Um, I've already rambled for the first like five minutes of this, but what I'm going to try to do is to talk about our vacation this year, which was to Vernal. So I'm going to experiment with this uh, interface that, um, uh, sorry, further ado, just a little bit further ado, is uh, uh, I'm kind of upset at Google because they had this application called Picasa that my, my brother introduced me to. And um, they worked really great and worked on your desktop. And I, I guess it's not their fault. I mean, the, the death of the desktop is imminent, right? If not already upon us. So people are using their mobile devices and iPads and stuff like that. So it kind of makes sense to build like an HTML5 interface. So um, Picasa hasn't been supported for a bunch of years. Um, and then you, as a security professional, it's been tough because I haven't had an older computer that had older Picasa on it and I want to upgrade it, but then I can't have Picasa and this is kind of my thing. So I finally had to, had to bite the bullet and be like, buy Picasa and I lose a bunch of functionality. It's kind of upsetting. Um, a lot of it, it has to do with like volumes of uploads and stuff like that. So, um, um, maybe I'll do a video sometime about like some of the problems of transitioning over to, uh, to Picasa or sorry, transitioning over to, um, Google photos or Google backup. Um, my requirements being primarily that I don't want to just upload everything, right? Everybody uploads everything. I want to upload pictures that have significance to me. 
um, uh, we're going to do another video sometime about artificial intelligence and um, what it might mean to be significant to me um, or to you or to someone else. Um, the Phil bot would want something with people in it, something where they're smiling, something that's not blurry. Um, and the Phil bot does a pretty good job picking things one at a time. If it's a particular event that I went to and there's no other picture with that person in it, I'll take one that's blurry. Um, if there's two pictures of it and somebody's smiling and then smiling big, then I'll pick the one where they're smiling big. Um, if there's two pictures and they have more people in them than less people, um, I like pictures of my family. So, so I'll get rid of the one with like one person unless it's like, like a profile shot of just them. So, um, so the fill bot has picked out 43,000 pictures and then Google does a really good job. And uh, I love, I love that it, it processes these. There's some, there's some problems again with the interface, but um, for example, this is not their fault, but my son is named Logan, which is also a location. So trying to differentiate between Logan, the person and Logan, the place um, would be important to somebody like me. Um, so what we're going to search for is 2018, which is pretty cool. I can search for a month. Um, I happen to know that it was in like July. Um, and uh, uh, that's kind of cool. So we got, you know, broken up by days. And then I've got three albums that I broke up in, into quarters. So we have July includes my quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. Quarter four is not actually quarter four. I've got it broken down in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. We're not there yet. Right. We're not, we're not even at the end of August and then October, November, December, but sometime in the middle of July, I said, Hey, I'm, I've got this new process that I need to do because these last two albums weren't uploading from Picasa because Google dropped the API for Picasa finally. And I was just like, what are you going to do? So I couldn't even authenticate to it. Um, probably because that application probably had passwords in it that had access to my photos and stuff that was just inappropriate. And so, Yay, Google, boo me. Um, but so this other album is a couple months ahead, but it, it is the most recent favorites that, that, I, that I picked. Um, and uh, so another, another thing you can do is you can actually just say, you know, vacation. And there's some heuristics that's like, okay, where did I go on vacation? What does it, what does a vacation look like? Right. Um, not as specific. I'm, I mean, it's going to pull up pictures of Montana because every day it looks like a vacation in Montana. Right. Um, lucky me. Um, but then, uh, so I go, I go, uh, 2018. Um, and I wish I remember. So I remember that, that we took, we took Anna home on July uh, like the, just after the 4th of July. So, um, so basically it's, it's, um, June, we're going to say, uh, so I remember Grafford's birthday. Um, we were on vacation. Let's go, let's go back a couple of days. So like June 15th, I know that it covers it more than appropriately. So 2018 through, um, July 6th, 2018. And it pulls up all these. Cool. Huh? Okay, so now you get the fun part, and I'm going to pause the video, stop the video, and then I'm going to show you our vacation. Thanks.